Welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan, for episode 27, with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's 1.53 here on Edgewater, Saskatchewan, and I think I've caught up with the various different bits I needed to do. So, out of my fields, all the bits that we had sorted out, the rocks have now all been picked, everything's smoothed out, all the bits that needed to be um, limed were done, so that's all good to go. I've moved a few bits around here and there. Um, I started moving some stuff over. I took water over. What did I do in the last episode? Herbicide, wasn't it? Um, over to our, our contractor. Um, and the same dawned on me. And I was going to take the rest of the stuff. I thought, well, no, why am I doing it off camera? Of course, I need to be on camera. So our sunflower provider. Now, I don't know if he has stocks of it, stores of it, whether, you know, I, again, it's one of those things. It's an alternative to an open garden. So I could have an open garden stick, and I said, I could stick another one in, have another one running with... Um, with sunflower in it but it's a sort of different way round of doing that and i have made the decision i am going to do hay i'm going to go out i'm going to get the um swather i'm going to get the conditioning header i'm going to go around all the stuff i've done before and i'm going to we're going to hay because i've got straw i've got silage on the go i might as well do cows why would i not now one of the reasons looking at it before was well you know i don't need the milk who needs the milk you know you don't need it for anything in particular um, my plan of, um, actually, I don't want to tell you that, but I, I mentioned something a while back actually about when I was doing the fish. I've got a kind of plan forming in my head for something along those lines as well. So, what I'm going to do is go down to the store. Now we had all the, uh, let's say, the hoo-ha, <laughs> the problems before um, with all those pallets spawning at our... Um, seed production facility one of the facilities the first facilities we bought uh, do I need both of those I don't think I do just one so what I'm going to do is go and get a seed and then I'll go and grab fertilizer and we'll take that over and then we can get those productions running just so I realized I've got that on and that on I didn't need that right so what I'm going to do um, because it was already spawned and it was already there and I said look I won't use that stuff I've got a load, I, was, I still had corn running in my little production building so my production building was still um, producing some, I think we're up over I want to say 20,000 22, 23,000 litres of seed in our little production building, so what I'm going to do is go down, I'm going to collect the seed that's down there but I'm going to pay for it I know it's kind of technically, technically mine already, but because it was respawning and respawning, and now that problem's been solved, anything I take now won't respawn. So it's only right, I've got the money to do it. As you can see, the money's back up again. I sold an, another load of fertiliser, so we, you know, we're bouncing. Oh, that's the other thing I did, I bought, um, I bought a teleskid. Now I said a while back, I was, I was thinking of doing it, and I bought the cheaper options because we didn't have a lot of money to start off with. So I've got my small skid steer loader John Deere one over here I've got my John Deere one over there which I've now moved over so I can move my honey pallets around um, and then I've got one I've bought a skid steer loader 
basket a little bit, a telly skid, JCB, that I can use at my open gardens, because that was another thing. When I changed the um, that pallet situation, I was using that, those, that pallet mod, I can't remember what it's called now. That's what caused that problem over at my um, seed production. But what it was also allowing me to do was drive up to the side of certain pallets at the open gardens and automatically load them in. Once I disabled that and stopped using it, that's why I have to use the um, skid steel loader now to lift my pallets up to put into a trailer. So I've got like, skid steel loaders all over the place and it just saves me go to driving a, a skid steel loader which goes fairly slowly. I can put it on the back of a trailer I guess or something like that. But my skid steel loader, where do I leave it? Is, oh, it's just there. I did have a thought actually of a way I could move it, which I might try. Um, it might work. If I attach it, because I've got the um, big bag lifter on the front of it from the CSZ pack. If I can attach that onto something, if it grabs, like the, the bar on the back of this maybe, I might be able to tow it, potentially. I'll give it a go. So I suppose if you look at it like that, I could have moved it around, so having three is probably a bit excessive, but all right. Now I'm not sure whether this is going to let me take from these bags directly or whether I'm going to have to lift them up with a forklift. If I have to lift them up with a forklift, I'll do that. So these shouldn't, <laughs> they shouldn't respawn now. You see that one, the pallet, that's what it's supposed to look like. There we go, we're right. So, how many bags there? Oh, we'll see when we're full. I'm going to do it fairly, I'm going to pay a thousand for a thousand and then, is that what is that what it costs at the moment? I can't remember. Oh, it's taking the box first. Oh, no um, what are we paying at the moment for seed? Pioneer seeds, 900. Oh, okay. So that would be fair, allowing for the fact I did have some that didn't cost me anything. So, you see they're not respawning? All good. So there's nothing nefarious happening. It's all as it should be. All done. Nothing has respawned. 18,436 litres. Um, what I was intending to do now is, as it should be, so here, there we go, is turn that back on again. There you go, it's supposed to be fairly quick. Because what should happen now is anything that spawns I will then get charged for. I'm sure that's how it works. <laughs> because it didn't work how it should do off the start, it kind of threw me a little bit. It's fairly quick, and if you leave it running you can get absolutely clobbered, so you just have to be very aware of it. Um, yeah, we should hit a thousand. I'm sure the boxes are a thousand. Well, the recipe is zero to two thousand. Twenty sorry, zero to twenty thousand which makes it fairly rapid so we should see a box appear in a little while so while I'm waiting for that I'm just going to pay what was that it was 18,400 so I'll pay 19 grand that's probably the best bet there we go 19 grand transferred over I really hope another box spawns <laughs> otherwise it could be a problem um, so all we're going to do is take this over to um our subcontractor, we'll put that in. I'm sure it's just, I'm sure it's fertiliser. I think I can do liquid fertiliser as well, but I don't have any liquid fertiliser. But I can put liquid fertiliser in as well, which would allow me to, I think, have more. We'll check it. We'll check it out. It's, it's, there's some theory involved here. Actually, while I'm here, I will pre book. Pre book. Uh, it's under Mills. Mills. What version should we go for this time? We've got a lot of case stuff. I used Challenger last time. Oh, Heston. Oh, should we should go for a Massey. Let's go for a Massey. Um, we'll go for those tyres, I think. At least that. And then we'll come out of there and we will go for... Mower Conditioner. that 
Now it was mentioned to me, uh, thank you again, uh, to, by Baron Papa, when I was doing my um, crop swathing before, you said about with the swather, I, you can change the swath from centre left or right and, and just have less swaths to collect. On one row you do left swath and then one row you do right swath and then that way it combines them either side into a middle swath. The thing was, if I was going up and down a field I probably would have done, but because my fields were odd shapes, um, because of all the washouts and waterways, I just left it on middle swath. I mean, I could have done, really, but I, I didn't. Probably should have done. Okay, that's weird. Why has that not... Let's turn it off. Well, they're 2,000 litre boxes. Oh, I'll come back. Oh, it's not a problem. I can come back. I've got 18,000 litres in it. At least I know it's working properly now. So, we'll head out, and we'll get the swather on the go, if, um, I, don't, I don't know how fast or how quickly they'll be able to get sunflower to me, if it's fairly slow, fair enough, if it's quicker than I think it's going to be, then I'll probably, I'll, I'll get the pig food mixer in anyway, um, as I said, I've, I've got the stuff, and as you saw in the last episode, I put my own pig food in, But I wanted to try out a pig food mixer rather than just buy pig food. So there's the three different options there. Put it in yourself, in its constituent parts. Um, pig food mixer. Or just buy pig food. And in previous iterations, I have just I've just bought pig food because it, you know, it's just a little bit easier. And I wanted to try something a bit different this time. So we're getting there. Every time, I don't know why I'm surprised, every time along with it, if I use this pickup, or the previous version of this pickup, we get airborne. Um, it was remarked in the last episode, I had a, I had a direct message, that's how important it was, um, saying that my pickup hours had gone back to zero. I did say we were having an engine swap because this, this this is not just a it's not tuned version of the old one we've had a new engine put in this so um everything gets zeroed technically the vehicle's still done the mileage but it's all been refurbed and whatever so we had it zeroed okay all sorted i remember back in those heady days when my channel was young people didn't really notice or they weren't bothered about that kind of thing and more people seem to be now and when I've done episodes before where I've gone and we've travelled to another place, onto another to another farm or whatever, on another map to go and buy something and bring it back, I, I get comments of people saying, oh, I noticed the vehicle hours were different, or this was this. Like, just go with it. It's, you know, when you do that kind of thing, it's more storyline than it is, you know, realism. So, we are heading out here. To these now I'm not sure whereabouts oh that's the point we've got a roof here oh okay so I'm going to, to come across a little bit this is where I find out it takes a catastrophic amount of seed and I'm going to be in the right state please be like 5,000 litres oh okay it might have been five it might have even been less So part of my deal over here with our subcontractor was that his field here that we purchased for him. So because like I said, we're subcontracting partners, however you want to look at it. Um, I've come out and I've limed it for him. Oh, there are stones to collect actually. Rocks to pick. I don't know if I, if I get a chance to, I might come over and do it for him. And um, there were weeds, so I just mulched over them. So here's the situation then. Where is it? It's so it's here somewhere there we go so this is a crops production 
And the whole premise behind this being that that's, you know, it's to simulate a subcontractor. So we can do wheat or wheat with straw. So we can get both if you want straw coming out. The recipe is the same, but we get more coming out, which I could get more straw, actually. I can't with um, the things that produce straw, wheat, barley and oats we can. But we can get sorghum, canola, soybean, corn, sunflower, potatoes, sugar beet, sugar cane. And then we've got with liquid fertiliser as well. Now, I haven't got liquid fertiliser, so we'll only be running it with one. But we are still missing solid fertiliser. So I need to go back and get some solid fertiliser in that over. We'll get that going. I've got a funny feeling, though, looking at how much... Looking at the recipe of water to seed to... Mind you, cycles from 0.72. That's going to be really slow. And production costs per month are high because I'm paying... here. I'm not having to plant... I'm not used equipment, so your production costs are up there because you're getting a crop produced and given to you. Does that make sense? Yeah, so that's kind of what we're looking at. A little bit like the fertiliser, uh, the seed, sorry, the seed production building, that's the same. Um, the seed is being organised, sorted. I can go there and buy it. I own the production plant, but production costs are high to simulate my outgoing costs of producing seed. This is a similar premise, I think. So I've got a funny feeling now. It makes me think it was going to be relatively quick. I don't think it will, which is a, it's a bit frustrating, but there's nothing I can do about it. So I've got a bit more seed then, which I have paid for. It's all good. So we'll take this bag over to the farm. I am gradually removing the fence sections <laughs> where, where I'm being lazy. I know it's terrible, I'm laughing, but... Um, oh, is that what's happening as well? I am um, off camera. Moved the bales. So our bales are now all in storage for when we need them. Like I said, if we do cows, we've got them. I've got silos being produced in my little production building, but our bales are now in there. So that's done. I can't wait to plant these fields. That's going to be absolutely epic. Massive fields, massive harvests. I'm thinking cotton, sugar beet, and probably wheat or barley. I've got some cotton there to take, and I've got a bit of wool as well. But yeah, where, where the roadways come out, Rather than drive down and round, all they've, I've been sort of putting, taking chunks of fencing out so I can go straight out. And obviously, once I've got crops in the fields, I won't be able to, but at the moment, or if I'm doing field work, it just makes life a little bit easier. I can go straight out and I can, uh, I can crack on. So, oh, I meant to bring, oh, I was going to try out that thing I said, didn't I, with the, with the skid seal loader and see if I can hook it up to the back. And I completely forgot. We'll go over and get some fertiliser. Looking at what that's taken, I'm assuming it's going to be four or five thousand litres. So uh, we shouldn't have to do too much. Once I put this in, we'll see how much seed we've got. I oh, should have plenty actually. And we've got when we get, when we get around to seeding, we've got some big fields to do. So we're going to need a fair bit of it. Uh, how are we looking here? Every time, come on, it's here somewhere. There we go. Uh, seed. We have got 30,000 litres now. So yeah, we must have been on 24, which is pretty good. So 30,000 litres of seed sitting in there. Um, I have got more corn and I've got more corn being produced, so that's all good. Right, let's check on our fertiliser situation. We should have a fair bit in here. Like I said, I did sell some, that's why the money's gone back up, but we should have a bit in here. I'll put 10,000 litres in. How much have we actually got in here then? Okay, so with 10,000 litres taken out, we've got another 59,000 litres in here. Just under 600,000 litres of manure that's chugging away, so that's continuing to produce our fertiliser. That's all good. Now I've got to check as well. These silos are, I want to say 5 million litres. I'm sure they're fives. So this one. Our straw's coming down. We had what, 4 million litres in there, so it's coming down. Like I said, it's a finite resource. It will run out at some point. And I'm going to need to keep some if I'm going to do bedding, if I'm going to use it for top mix ration. I don't know if I will, but I might do. So, combined there, we're under, I would imagine, 3 million stones on it. Oh, maybe over, maybe 3 and a bit. But that will give me space in here to put hay in if I want to, because that one, our hay lot, our, our forage storage, I could put some in there that's got a bit of space in it and then this one's got a flax you know that one's got a flax straw in it 
if that's a five mil that's got 1.7 so we can put it in there so i can put my, my hay in that one or that one that one make more sense if i'm doing time mixed ration if i was going to use straw as well um i can bring over a mixer and i could put it in there if i'm going to do a no, that's true actually it depends whether i'm going to do a static mixer or whether i'm going to do a mobile mixer i don't know anyway right i'm going to drop this off we'll get those running and then we'll i'm going to whisk back down to the store because i'm curious about like i said about trying to see if i can bring I mean, i'm sort of going backwards and forwards now but whether i could tow the uh tow the skid still loader and then what i'm going to do i'm probably going to now we'll put the pig food mixer in and i'm going to put it over by the um by the pig pen so i can take what i need to over there into it and it just means it's right over there so we're johnny on the spot why don't i do that actually going straight across the field um we're johnny on the spot then for making pig food it's in there and then when i need it i can just take it out of that pig food mixer and we can feed the pigs with it so if we run out of that or you know or i go back to decide i'm going to do it with the constituent parts or i decide i'm going to buy pig food so way around to do it i've got options so this will be the, the very telling bit is well one how quickly it goes down if, if i could find this is going to be a real drain but i've got plenty of fertilizer and so seed i've got a huge amount but i can produce more Oh, that took way more. Oh, come on, man. All the others were... No, nope, I haven't got enough now. Yeah, as I say, when I turn these on, you'll see how quickly it starts to go up. Um, so what, what did that take in the end, then? Of course it did. 7,000. The others were fours and fives. No, nope, 7,000 litres of solid fertiliser. So, what we'll do now... This one is going to be put on to... Sunflower running if that doesn't go up to a one so yeah this is going to be really slow isn't it oh man it's weird isn't it i don't know i mean i'm not a mod maker i don't you know but when you're doing these when you're making productions and you know you're looking at your cycles per month your recipe it's interesting, why would you choose 0 0.72? There's obviously a reason, but why 0 0.72 cycles per month? When you've got some that are running at thousands of cycles per month, that's incredibly slow, and I didn't even look at that when I first thought about doing this. So maybe this isn't going to be the best bet. If this turns out to be really slow, I'll, I'll leave them chugging away, now I've got them filled up, and you know we're working with a, a subcontractor, and nothing's appeared yet, that's really slow um we may then haggle i might barter and haggle and say if that's the case and this is going to be a real slow burn then potentially i suppose that might be to simulate the fact that you've got a crop cycle you know i might i might have to stick in an, an open garden possibly right i need to go and get some more fertilizer i'm gonna sort that out i'll see you down the store in a minute once that's done we'll see if i can hook the um skid slow drop on the back of this and bring it back because it'll be quicker than driving it back i mean saying that I could have driven it back by now. Which I wonder. Uh, let's see. If we go to... Active worker. So let's go to that. Set destination. Why did I not think of doing that before? Is it going to go all this way? Or is it going to say it's, it's going to be too far, isn't it? It's going to have a meltdown. Uh, let's bring it to... There. That direction. Drive into target, it says. Okay. Yeah. Oh. How is it blocked by an object? It's just started. Really? I utilise my workers, like that sort of thing, far more on Silver Run. And it's one of those things I keep forgetting it's an option to do, you know. I keep driving backwards and forwards and think, well, why didn't I think of doing that before? But that's one of the reasons why, because they get jammed up. I'll check it in a minute. I'm still being, my money's going down, so the work is still employed. Probably just sat there, stuck up against a telegraph pole or something. Good old workers. You can trust them, can't you?
right, as you've seen, it did work. The work of what it, weirdly, it was absolutely fine until it came along here. For some reason, it was weaving backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards all the way along here until it got to 10. But we got the, the work of what it, so brilliant, why not? We got the money, let's hire workers. So, before I move on to sorting out some hay then, which means I'm going to have to, I might have to, but I could I could lease a forage wagon. But um, I'm going to do the forage pickup again because it works really well. I'm just thinking actually I might give this a go because um, we've got the front three point on it. I'm just wondering whether or not that forage thing has got enough height. Would it throw it right over the back of that? I'm probably better off using a tractor. I could do, I suppose. It's what it's for. I need to look at maybe getting a trailer for this now then. Something with a bit of capacity to it. Yeah, anyway, um, again, if, did I check today to see what was available on the... Oh, I did, didn't I? It was just those, yeah. So, I'm thinking, if we put it in... I'm just thinking the way the pipe is... So if I put it here, we've got the ditch and it's in the way of the track I've put in. I could put it just here in the grass here. And then I've just got to get the pig food out of it and take it over there. Or I could put it... I don't really want to put it inside the pen, do I? They're all chilling out, aren't they? They're just very happy. So, let's have a look. I'm thinking here, probably. Now, what was it under? It's production, isn't it? Not silos. Okay, pig food mixer. So only 22 grand. So I can put the... Oh, no, it is that way around. Oh, brilliant. That's all right. I, I was thinking it was the other way. So if I put it like that, I can literally... If I, actually, I could swing it that way a little bit. Just put it into there. 22024. So it's, it's going to be a tiny little amount it's going to put in there. If we're and in any doubt that's a pig food mixer... Just so you don't mix it up when you're uh, putting other stuff. So, 60, 25, and 15. Slightly different ratio, but we'll put it in. Do a little bit of landscaping. Smooth that out a little bit. This is generally speaking what I, you know, if I do play stuff, it's what I would do normally anyway. And like I said before, sometimes I don't show it, and people ask me, why don't you show it? Um, some people aren't bothered whether I show it or not. Um, if I increase the intensity of that and then run along the side, we can smooth that out a little bit. Because that did put quite a sharp edge on that. Yeah, we'll smooth that out. So I say, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. There was supposed to be an update for um, Edgewater. When I first started playing, I mean, bearing on we're on episode, what, now, 27? Um, it didn't really happen. I, I don't know whether it, it got rejected at Giant's End or, or I don't know. Um, a lot of people say, oh, you should wait until the, the update comes out because, you know, you might have to change stuff. And I thought, well, that's a fair point, actually. What if I do? Um, and it didn't happen because I think one of the things was people were saying about um, when you're landscaping, like I'm doing now. It happens quite a lot on maps. Um, I've said it before, Giants do it as well sometimes. That the um, texturing, like here, we've got the gravel, and then you've got the darker gravel. Um, so when the map's made, all these different textures are used, but the textures aren't available under build mode. So I've got the gravel, but there's not a dark gravel. So you can kind of mix it up a little bit. If I come out of there, you know, I've got that light gravel, which is it's on already, but this darker one. So sometimes I just have to go with a little bit of... That's too dark. It just doesn't... Yeah, it's not quite... I have to leave it the light gravel. There we go. <laughs> the light gravel, there we go. So it doesn't quite blend right, but... No, it's on. It's alright. It'll be okay. And then we'll switch out from there. Go to our plants. And then we'll go like that. And put the grass back in. Just to tidy up around the edge. There we go. So when we're ready, when we've got some sunflower, well, that will go in. And we're good to go. I don't know how this subcontracting sunflower is going to go, you know. Um, let's have a check and see 
we got any information any more information sunflower what we're we looking at 16 liters yeah it's not mega fast but it's going up and bear in mind it's only been a few minutes so yeah we should get a, we'll get a bit I suppose as well when you think about that because that's obviously simulating your inputs if you look at the middle of the recipe the other thing that didn't dawn on me when I was looking at it a minute ago your inputs for production normally look at um, your input will either be equal to the output you might get inputs in and the outputs lower but this simulates the fact that if you were planting a field and you were putting on your seed your fertilizer herbicide whatever you're going to put down onto your field your crop output is far more than what seed and fertilizer you put on you know if you put down six thousand liters of fertilizer across a field you don't, you don't get six thousand liters of crop out you get way way more so that recipe if you combine that up 300 300 250 and 250 you're looking at what 1100 inputs for 3000 out so i suppose yeah looking at that that's the recipe is a little bit more interesting isn't it we'll see we'll see what happens right so 239 october 1 sun is already starting to dip um i'm gonna grab my oh no i need to do the mowing first i need to whiz down to the store so we'll grab our pickup whiz down to the store i'm gonna grab the swather with the conditioning header on it and we'll get out and we'll uh, get some hay made and then while i'm there i'll i'll lease the uh pickup header i'll have a look actually over there there was that um what trailer did i use there's that new um i think it would fit quite nicely here. was it a distinction or was it, was it the low king the one that goes it goes up to a 500,000 litre capacity but um i can't remember what the standard capacity was on it that might not be a bad idea so i do decide to use the lorry for collecting the, the uh hay I'm just thinking based upon cutting all this grass for doing bales i got the last run i did i got over a million liters one million and twelve thousand i think but bearing in mind my two small fields over here have been repurposed back to grass again over here um so i could get over a million liters that was grass before but this time it would be hay so there's no reason at all to think that i won't get a similar amount right oh let's get in here so this one with the conditioning header other uh, compared to this crop swathing headers this one you can't um this just swaths you can't switch swath left and right on this one i'm pretty sure you can't we will double check it though always double check nope which is absolutely fine Turn it off. so So with that condition on the front, that cuts, conditions, and then we go to our hay. Might as well start actually while we're here. That was all I was going to do as well. Let's go into here. And we'll go to forage pickups is always under belt systems. I always forget. But this time I didn't. What colours have I had before? White, yellow, I've done very different ones, haven't I? Let's go with blue. Don't know why, just feel like it. Uh, and let's lease that for collecting the swath later and then trailers um i don't know if i've got it actually there it is the 53 foot super hopper so it's standard it's 40 capacity standard upgraded at 77 6 and then 500 yeah so it's not a really my two trailers my smaller ones will give me 60,000 and this compared to the usual ones see where are we that one there that will only do regular crop types whereas the modded version this one here does everything so we can put forage stuff in that as well rock stones everything 83 grand I might do I'll give it some thought. I've got that. So what should happen now? We go forward, it's moths, and it's hay. 
absolutely phenomenal. Otherwise, I'll leave it on the road, and I don't want to leave it on the road, so it's stuck in there. I'll head out to my field, I'll get that done as well. And there are a few different modded mower swather versions like this. This is just the one because it's got the crop swathing stuff that comes with it to use on this particular map. That's why I've got it. But I say there are a few different ones. There are wider mowers. I'm now thinking as well that my... Oh yeah, oh, I suppose I could. Let me think. I could go wider actually and could go easier. Because this is going to take me a while. Well, it's a sunny dawn to me, so stop the engine there. It's all a process. It runs through your head while you start doing something. I, for some reason, I thought that header was wider. Um, but the mowers I was using before, part of the ultimate mowing pack, if we go back to our mowers, these ones out on the end, see, that one is only a 4.9. These combined go out to a 10.2, so double the width. Um, that will swath, and I can go for the option of having a... A rear hitch on it as well so we put a rear hitch on that including a potentially a three point if I go with that oh have I got it installed and then under, is it under tethers yeah that that or that which one had the bigger pickup 2.8 1.8 yeah that one um, if I run that behind so I can then mow and swath at 10.5 meters and then and then turn it into hay with that. You know what? Why does that look? It's weird. That says one point eight. That says two point eight. But that they seem a similar size. That will run at eleven miles an hour. That will run at nine. I've used both at different times. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to leave it on command and I don't need to uh, change that. Let's lease that. That needs to change to rear three point. We've got the vario, we've got the swathing sections on there. I always change the chassis colour. The black one just seems a bit dark to me. Galvanised? Yes. Lease that. Now that seems like a waste of time now having leased that, but again, I'm, I'm kind of at that point. I know it's awful, isn't it? When you, you, get, you go for so long not having the money to do what you want to do and leasing anything, you're looking and thinking, oh, it's going to cost me this much. That's you know, is it worth it? Is the outlay worth it? Whoa, what happened there? Um, but now I've got enough money in the bank, it's like, oh yeah, I'll just, just throw throw good money after bad. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and grab my tractor, I'm going to need that. And then I'll set that up and we'll give that a go. Sorry, sorry for messing with one round. Put that there. Right, I'll go and grab my tractor. Back in the GIF. Okay, down here with the tractor. We're hooked up. I mean, it's pretty weighty over the back, but once it's on the ground and running, we should be fine. I thought I'd go onto the field and try it out first because we're holding up the traffic a little bit. So um, I'll go onto here first and see how this goes. So let's lower down the front mower. Turn that on. I think I've got it on swath dropping. I'm pretty sure I have. Let's unfold that. Yeah, swath dropping. Top left. Again, does not help hurt to have the menu open, have a quick check, just to double check I've done it. Turn that on, drop that down. Okay, and then switch to that, turn that on. Now I've set that on one meter work width, work width on the back. I think it goes from 0 0.5 up to 2.75. We'll go with that and see how that works out. Drop that down, and now, Quite sure why I'm going at an angle like this. 
but let's get the lights on so we can see what we're doing. This ultimate mowing pack, I have to say, having the ability to have ball hitch, pin hitch, three point link on the back, I mean that that tether on the back, you could just run a tether off the back of this, you didn't know you'd have to do this. Because I'm swathing and I want to maintain my swath, why run a tether which would open it all back up out again? Use one of these. And this isn't part of the ultimate bail impact, the rear bit, but it's working absolutely perfectly. Couldn't be better. Very happy with that. Now I don't know how well this is going to work on the sharp turn. I mean we're directly behind where the swath's coming out, so it shouldn't miss anything. No, let me go to pick up on that. Seems pretty good. The only downside is on the tight turns the front mower misses a little bit of grass here and there. So yeah, we should get over a million litres if I do everything. I mean when I did before I was kind of a bit obsessive about getting as much as I possibly could. If I've got a million litres of hay and I've got a million litres of silage and I've got over a million litres of straw, that's a fair bit of total mixed ration we could make. Now where am I going to put a cow bun? Don't know yet. And again, I don't know if I'm 100% going to do it, but why not? I could do another grass cut, install the grass, I could do another grass cut and turn it into silage, but I've got a load of silage. If the grass is ready to cut before we move into the winter, why not? I'll do the hay, I'll store it, and then I've got options, you know? Preparing all this stuff ahead of time, then I know if I decide later on, you know what, I'm going to do cows, I then don't have to worry about going out and sorting out my hay. I've already got it, and I've got it in storage, and we're good to go. When I go to do the verges down the side there, I will be, um, I will move those signs because they are movable by hand. Oh, that's right, I thought I was going to hit that post then. What I can do now is do that and that. Where I have done these tight turns with the front mower missing little bits, I can come back and redo it later if I wanted to. Oh, I missed a bit there. Okay, that's the first bit it's missed. Come back over the next part I do. Did I miss a bit on the outside? Yeah, a little bit on the outside as well. Didn't swath that in for some reason. So that's where we stand. Um, I am going to be finishing this episode here. Now I know I, I probably you've wanted to see me collecting the hay. I will be collecting it with the forage pickup. Um, some people are asking me about the van situation. Those of you that are interested, because I said about yesterday was a bit of a difficult day. Um, I thought I was going to be picking up the van last night, but um, the, there had to be a bit of warranty work on it, and the, they ordered a load of parts in to do the warranty work, and it turned out the thing that was wrong with it. They didn't have the part for <laughs> typical so um the guy said they would fix it this morning and they would ring me to pick up this afternoon so i need to be kind of this done edited up and ready to go because if i suddenly get a call saying can you come and get it you've got great and sort the van out and go and get that, and that kind of thing. so um i think because this will take me ages now if i go and mow the whole map like i've done before i'm looking at a few hours of work so at least if we get out there, get it done, get back, I can get on with that. I don't know if mods are going to drop. I'm assuming as well, I was asked about mods, why the mods have been sort of intermittent. There have been a couple of bank holidays. As like I said before, I don't know whether the bank holidays that we have here in the UK translate over to Europe as well. I know the coronation weekend, we didn't get a lot of stuff. But that said, Giants released their beta um, of the new FSL client for the new season. And there's a load of whole multiplayer stuff and things on there for PC. So I'm assuming the dev team have been working on getting that ready and getting it out. And as that's released, I'm assuming they've been sorting out bugs and problems to make sure that's all running properly. That's just, just an assumption. I haven't spoken to anyone about that. But I would imagine, because I've said before, Giants, they're not a massive company. They're not, it's not a massive team of people. So if, um, 
their dev team that would normally be doing quality testing and doing mod testing, they're the guys that will do stuff for you know when they bring out new parts of the DLC, when they bring out new versions of the game, when they bring out new maps themselves, they're the guys that do it all. So they get bounced around wherever they're needed. So I, I assume that's what it is. So whether we'll get mods again later on today, potentially. Will we get another map today? Again, potentially. If we do, it's going to depend very heavily on where I am, what I'm doing, and whether I can get onto it or not. But I will try my very best. So I'm going to say this again. I, I don't know now until I edit. I'm going to edit and go, oh no, actually, this is probably going to be a short episode. I know you're probably all laughing now. <laughs> probably. Um, but maybe not. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.